Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's World. I am all excited today because I am here at RFC or Ramoji Film City. This is heaven on earth for all the cine lovers because all the shooting happens priority or majority wise here in Hyderabad. But more than that, we are not here for shooting a film. We are here to shoot this red rooster hooligan of a machine that has taken everyone by surprise when honda announced that they're going to launch something formidable we were expecting the forza or an adv motorcycle but instead what we got is this red hot naked monster now why do i say that it's a monster that you'll understand when you ride this motorcycle because don't go by the specs or the power or the torque figures that you see on the spec sheet because honda when they make their motorcycles they really give a motorcycle a character of its own so that is what defines this cb 300 f now this has been there in the market for quite some time in the international market but has been launched here in India now. So when you look at the sty uh, styling it's a clear sharp shooter styling ultra sharp design with cutting edge technology LED lighting all around with LED headlamps nice sharp housing well uh, laid out uh, front fender with dual tone uh, effect and you have the cuts here. So further highlight the sporty character then you have gold anodized forks which look super premium and have a little bit of a stiff setup to offer brilliant riding dynamics and superb handling characteristics then moving on to the profile you can see the sharp muscular styling that underscores the beast lurking underneath 14 liter tank to offer supreme tank range but the way they have chiseled the tank with cuts and creases meticulously crafted beyond perfection and the kind of sharpshooter uh, tank panels extending out give it the look of a predator that is ready to pounce on its prey now talking about the engine 293 cc single four valve engine which means it gets two inlet valves and two outlet valves and it allows the engine to breathe easy at higher rpms power is around 24 bhp and torque is 25.6 newton meters gearbox is a six-speed gearbox which means this is labeled to be a torque master with consistent throttle response throughout the rev band whenever you ring the throttle wide open fit and finish build quality is top notch when you look at the engine casing or the brake lever right over here it's made up of metal and then of course aluminium uh, foot pegs right over here overall the kind of fit and finish the build quality that they've offered is really really satisfying for the price segment this finds itself in short stubby exhaust to offer a good sporty exhaust note and good mass centralization concept right over here to offer good balance and supreme handling characteristics this is further aided by the rare mono shock and the diamond frame offers supreme rigidity and balance and uh, the rare mono shock along with the swing arm at the back offers supreme agility and nimble handling characteristics one of the finest that you can find in this segment that you will understand when you push it to the limits and cut through corners with utmost ease and then further aiding this is the radial tires from mrf offers supreme road grip with good water channeling capabilities even on wet road surfaces and watching your back in terms of safety is dual channel abs you also get a 276 mm disc up front and a 220 mm disc at the back dual channel abs comes as standard you can't turn it off but you also get hstc or honda selectable traction control so traction control what does it do it prevents excess wheel spin at the end of it all because rookie riders they don't know it is a torquey machine at the end of the day and when they open the throttle wide open on wet surfaces the excess wheel spin can cause the bike to crash then and there it can slip and fall so to prevent that to prevent or curtail excess wheel spin the traction control watches your back at the end of it all and you also have the option to turn it off so if you can come close let's have a look at the speedo animation this is all digital speedo console tachometer gear position indicator speedo uh, i mean speedo console then odometer clock and everything else that has been on the fuel gauge being clearly listed the abs uh, light is on and here is the traction control uh, this thing uh, indicator that uh, shows us that the traction control is on so in order to turn it off you have to press this set button yeah there you can see immediately after pressing it for a couple of seconds 
this indication comes on which means traction control is turned off to turn it back on all you need to do is again long press it and it is turned off which means i mean this indication is turned off which means traction is back on and then of course you also have slipper clutch watching your back while doing faster downshifts and uh, also pro provides for a lighter clutch pull so for those who are new to the channel what does slipper cl clutch do well when you are downshifting or trying to cut down speed rapidly the engine braking doesn't match the rear wheel spin and that's where uh, the back torque limiting system the slipper clutch come into play comes into play to watch your back to prevent the rear wheel from uh, you know hopping and locking and uh, then you are uh, talking about the tires i've already told you that we get uh, mrf uh, you know radial tires and then uh, talking about uh, the gearbox is the six speed gearbox you also get side stand engine cut off feature to offer as a good safety feature you can sit on the bike i can tell you about the seat height uh, yeah so for the average height rider or even for shorter riders this seat height can almost you know i am around close to 5 feet 6 and a half and i can almost plant my feet flat on the ground this gives you greater confidence to actually push the bike to its limits feel more in control of the bike and uh, talking about the led lighting get led lighting all around including the tail lamp i'll show it to you in a bit and uh, this is how it feels so you sit right into the bike so you feel more in control and that's what the street fighter uh, you know genre is all about to enjoy and flick your way through traffic and fight your way through traffic now if you can come close and uh, look at the other elements the grab bars are well laid out the seat is nice and comfortable more space for the rider adequate space for the pillion it is not first floor kind of a seating so the ladies can easily access the seat without any fuss and uh, looking at the tail lamp kind of reminds us of the older gen fire blade neatly integrated it is led lighting and led turn indicators at the back everything including the <laughs> much uh, not desired sari guard looks neatly integrated so it doesn't look ugly it doesn't look out of sorts so this concludes my walk through of the uh, honda cb 300f the pricing and the average fuel economy and other details will be mentioned in the description portion below now we've talked about the throttle the slipper clutch the safety the highlights the design elements that are on this and i feel we gonna have start the bike and give you a quick exhaust note so this so this is indeed a beast especially when you look from this angle the shoulder lines of this are so clean and so meticulously crafted man it looks like an apex predator that is ready to pounce on its prey and believe me as i keep telling you ride it to believe it it is really offering sheer riding pleasure i was absolutely jumping with joy and shouting my heart aloud while ripping it through the corners right here at rfc uh, i never realized that rfc had such wonderful roads either but beautiful day here in uh, hyderabad pleasant evening and uh, amazing location and the right kind of beast to you know set the blood coursing through your veins to feel the rush to feel the adrenaline really come alive at the end of it all so thanks to honda big wing india for allowing us to come here and enjoy this moment this day and this bike to the fullest and let's not waste any more time you are curious to see how it performs in the higher rpms or throughout the rev band and uh, how is the refinement how is the throttle response how does it handle all of this is coming up in the ride review so without further ado let's hit the road now